Long stretch pass coming here for Matt Baker. Baker holds, trying to set up someone on the play. Baker's been on fire, at least assist-wise, as of late points in seven of his last eight. That's 10 assists. Turnover here comes to Baker. Fires a shot. Savory flashes out the pad and is able to make the save. And coming in to clear the rebound is Corey Babichuk. As Urbank and Hessler are both trying to set up a tip. Shelberg got in the way along with Seeky. Comes in front to Hessler. Fires in right into the gut of Savory. And he is able to cover it up and make the stop. You saw Savory right there as soon as the puck comes free. He just inches right out of the net. Check this out. He saw there was going to be a shot. He takes two strides forward, gets in position, and just doesn't let Hessler get one in past him. Man, they affectionately call Benny Pucks. Good dangle there. Babchuk leaves it over here for Gornall, but he can't control. A couple of near-miss opportunities for RPI on this shift. Hitting a puck out of the air with your stick is a lot harder than people would assume. Your stick's not all that big, neither is the puck, and it's certainly meant to play the puck on the ice. Shot from Rutherford right in between the P and the I on the jersey of Savory, and he's able to stop it. Savory so far has had excellent rebound control here tonight as this is carried in here by Kyle Hallbauer, a sophomore of Howell, New Jersey. Gets double teamed but comes away with the puck. Hallbauer continuing to hold, leaves it in the shot here for Jerry, and Jerry's shot goes just wide. That knows how to play discipline. They don't take a lot of penalties. As Graber carries front of the net, deflecting off the skates of O'Connor. Pass was just a little bit behind him. Palisic can't keep it in. Here's a chance coming the other way. Patrick Polino carrying in, drops it back down. Shot, pad save made in front by Clark as he's able to flash out the left leg. Transition now coming the other way here for Dartmouth. O'Connor carrying it. O'Connor tries to wrap it around and hits the side of the post by Riley. O'Connor now trying on the backdoor feed. Puck deflected not once but twice. Zeke got his stick on it and dropping down was Polino as well. Now it's Baker trying to stuff it in front. And the rebound squirts back behind the net. Feed in front, Lacerdo point blank. Savory's able to make the save. What a stop there by the RPI netmine. Deflects to Brady Ferner. Back it comes to Babichuk. Through some traffic and Clark squeezes it in between the pads. He knows it's in there somewhere. Waits for the whistle and moves the pillows. And out puck comes the muff. Shelberg continuing to hold trouble, looking for a redirect in front. That one ping-pongs off the mask of Clark. It was Gornall that had his stick down. Shelberg continuing to hold. This one rings off the pipe. Two near misses here for RPI in short order. 50 seconds remaining on the power play. Hallbauer leaving it for Ashbrook. Shelberg, he's been snake bitten, fires this one in, and Clark's able to track this one cleanly and freeze it. Three, two, and one carry in here by Babichuk, though. Babichuk trying to go wrap around, looking for a feed in front, but we're back to five aside. Feeds it across the top of the zone. Polino going down low to Riley, trying to find a feed in front, but nothing there. Polino winds and fires and scores! From just inside the blue line, it's Patrick Polino with his 11th of the season. And RPI is able to strike first. Engineers turn to try and break out with a little bit of extra ice to operate with Riley carrying it forward. Riley holds centering attempt in front shot and rebound score. It's Tristan Ashbrook on the doorstep. The first year player will have his ninth of the season. A beautiful hold and feed from Will Riley. And check RPI's out, up 2 nothing. Check out the assist here from Riley as it just comes across the ice off the leg pad and deflected in. Just goes up and over the right side of the net. Going to switch away. RPI with an opportunity here. Feed coming down in front. Burgess on the backhand. Turnaround. Rebound. Score. That was an incredible goal there from Burgess. Able to gather his own rebound. It was fed over by Jake Johnson. Burgess had the backhand attempt that didn't quite go through. Look, Johnson gathers on the feed and then look at Burgess. Look at this backhand. Rebound straight to him as he's going down to the ice. Shoots it and puts it in. Gets up and celebrates with his team. That was quite a goal there. Regular season, this one will go back out as Laka will give chase right here. Leaving it, Ashbrook tries to pirouette his way into a scoring opportunity. The game's final 10 seconds. Puck carried forward here by Brendan Demler. He'll just glide in. Backhand shuffle towards the net. Grabbed and put down by Savory. The buzzer will sound and that will do it here tonight. RPI is able to come away with a 4-1 to one victory, and they've secured themselves a top four seed for the ECAC playoffs. We talked about how big that is.